Hi everyone, this is Ellie May with Swift Creek Customs and today I am back in Leonardo Design Studio and I want to share how you can turn a regular cut file into a print and cut file. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use an image from the Leonardo Design Studio library and that is going to be located over here on the left hand side. So if I come over here in order to access the library, you do need an internet connection so it can talk to the Caesar um, servers. So I'm gonna click on this and I'm gonna choose a design. So today I'm gonna be working with this design. I am going to set it up as a print and cut and then I am going to cut it out of the Caesar Easy Color DTV and make a project with it. So I am going to turn choose open design here at the bottom. It's going to come onto my design mat for the Leonardo um, cutting mat. Now what I want to do is I'm just going to move this up here for the time being and then I'm going to set this up as a print and cut. So I'm going to come over here to my print and cut option. I'm going to choose that. I'm going to choose my paper size from this drop down menu or if you do not see your paper size that you're printing on, there is a link in the description below on how you can find the additional options that your printer does offer for different sizes. So check that out. If you do not see, there's only a few in this selection that are the most common, but you can still get your printer to um, print with different settings through the printer setup. So I'm just gonna, I'm using US letter and then I wanna turn on my page marks. So I'm gonna turn those on. They're gonna to go to the outer edges of my design. And what I wanna do in this case is I'm gonna try and make this as large as I can to utilize the Easy Color DTV. So I'm just gonna use the rotate option up here at the top. And I just wanna rotate that to the right. And actually it really doesn't matter if it's completely straight or not since I'm going to be doing this as a print and cut. So I can just do this. And then I'm going to increase the size of this as much as I can. And I need to stay within those registration mark boundaries. If I go outside, it's going to give me an error when I try to do this. So I want to stay within those registration mark boundaries. And you want your selection box of the design. So we'll just do that. And then I'm going to center this on the page. So with the design selected, going to choose the center align tool and there we have our design. So I am within those boundaries. I'm going to click on the design and I'm going to come down here to the building contours. So when I do that then I can tell Leonardo that I am going to do a print and cut logo. Now I want to cancel this. I want to show you something. So currently even though I have my registration marks on this is still considered a cut file. So if I come up here to the send tab, I'll show you what happens. I'm gonna click send, nothing shows up on my screen because I have those registration marks activated. So if I turn those off, tell it it's not a print cut anymore, and I come up here to the send design, I get the options to send it as a regular cut, and then it shows up as a regular cut that it will cut out of the material you place on your cutting mat in those different colors. That's not what I want to do. So if you encounter that, this is how you can fix it. I'm going to tell it again to print and cut. So it sets up my page. Make sure your page size matches. Choose the page marks at the top so they show up on your screen. And then I'm going to select my design and I'm going to come down here to building contours, build contours. I'm going to click it. I'm going to choose print and cut logo. And then if you notice here in the D and the A and the D and the R, the, it shows as white. It does not have a blue line around it. In this case, if I choose include holes, now you see that it's going to cut out of the inside of those letters. You can choose to do an offset if you would like. And I'm gonna, um, I'm just gonna leave it as is. I'm gonna choose apply. And then when we go over here, so if I come here with it selected, if I choose properties, it's gonna show now as the default as a print. To check it, I'm gonna come up here to the send tab. I, it's a print and cut, so I have no options to select. Everything's grayed out. I'm gonna choose send. 
And now what you'll see is I have a print page and then I have a cutting contours page. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to print this design out. I'm gonna choose send to printer. I wanna make sure that my current printer is selected. My page size is the correct page size I'm printing on. And I'm going to check send to printer. Now this is Caesar Easy Color DTV, so I do not need to mirror it. So I'm going to choose send to printer. And then I'm going to choose the regular standard settings for the print quality. That is what Caesar recommends. Plain paper setting, standard quality. And then I'm going to choose rear tray in this case because I am printing through my printer's rear tray. I'm gonna click okay and print. And every single printer is going to be a little bit different. It's gonna show you printer windows. Again, we're having some Wi-Fi issues. So this happened to me on my last video too. If you get an error, I just click cancel, close out of that, and I go back to send to printer. Uh, my husband said he had issues with Wi-Fi this morning too. So my printer is Wi-Fi. And usually when I do that the second time, it goes through. Of course, if my router's out, that won't work. But there it goes. I can hear my printer. I will grab that as soon as it's done. Um, with Caesar DTV, you do want to follow the instructions from Caesar very carefully. So this is going to actually cut out around each letter, and I'm going to use a mask to transfer it. So they do recommend that you wait 24 hours after you have printed it to mask it and transfer it. And then they also recommend that you wait 24 hours before you wash it. And they recommend you wash it before you wear it because any excess ink from your printer, which could vary, any excess ink could wash off if water spots get on it or anything like that. Because some printers put down too much ink and it can't be absorbed by the DTV. But I have been using the DTV since August of um, 2022 when it was released and I am loving it. I have shirts that are over 20 washes and still look the same because I'm following the instructions when I put it onto the shirt. Now, I don't always follow the care instructions afterwards, but I'm still getting great results. But that is on me if something happens. So let me grab that sheet. So here I have my printed Caesar DTV page. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pop over to Caesar Juliet. This will work the same on Romeo as well. And I am going to set up the print and cut on to get ready on Juliet. Okay, so here I have, I'm going to wake Juliet up just by touching her. And then I'm going, I have my printed page. The arrow is the bottom left of the, of the page, how you want to put it on your mat. And I'm going to place this on my mat. Now, I have not cut Caesar DTV in a while. So I am going to do a test cut. And you do want to make sure your ink is at least dry to the touch before you do this so that you're not smearing your ink or the registration marks because that could affect it. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to, I am going to go through the process and do a test cut. I am actually going to be using the settings from the Caesar Juliet, and I will tell Leonardo that here in just a second. So I'm going to lock this in place and I'm going to move the housing. So my first things are going to be test cuts. So I'm going to move it away from my design so it doesn't interfere. And then I'm going to come over here to cut settings. And I just, in general, if the material's not in there, I don't believe, let's see if I go back, um, HTV, I don't believe Easy Weed is, uh, the DTV is in here. Um, and that's just fine. So basically I use, I've renamed this one cardstock. I'll change it in and out all the time just to see. Um, Caesar does recommend a force between 15 and 20 for your DTV, but it's also going to depend on how you have your blade set. So test cuts are a great thing to do. And every time I do not test cut, I kick myself afterwards if it 
because it usually doesn't work right. So I'm going to choose the little t-shirt. Grab my little weeding tool. And then what I can do is move this housing out. And that was on a force of 20. And I have some um, fuzzies. So that's probably a little bit... Let's see, I can see the t-shirt and I can feel it a little bit. So 20 is probably a little bit too much. So what I can do is I can come down here and I love that I can do the test cut right here on Caesar Juliet, especially because I'm lazy and my computer is in the other room um, because it's connected to all kinds of cords. So I've just been doing these videos and running the 10 feet back and forth. So um, 15 still it cut it e it weeded easily so I'm gonna go with the force of 15 so even though it says cardstock I I use this as my like variable setting I can change it when I want to so what I need to do now is I'm going to move this the housing to the bottom left registration mark and I'm gonna point this out here so I need to place my tip of my blade inside this registration mark right here. Okay, so I have that placed. I am going to pop back over to Leonardo Design Studio and I'm going to send this. So now that I have printed this, I can go ahead and click on the cutting contours and I have Juliet set up in the other room. So now I am using the cutters settings. So I'm gonna check this little box that's going to tell it that Leonardo is not the one uh, determining the cut settings. It's going to use the cut settings that I just test cut on the Caesar Juliet machine. So I don't need to do anything here. It's, um, it's not, it is HTV, but I don't need to mirror it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose send to cutter and then we're going to pop back over to Juliet. Send to cutter. It's going to ask me to ensure artwork. I'm using the machine. And then we'll jump over to Juliet. It's just today I'm trying to crank these videos out and it just does not like it. So when it beeps at you, just stop. She just wants me to spend more time with her, I think. And all I simply do is I'm going to position that housing again. One more. Nope, I had it right there. And then I'm going to send it again. And the second time seems to be the charm today. I don't know what it is. And I lied, second time is not a charm. So this is, if this is gonna happen, I'm not gonna edit this video to show that it's always perfect every single time. Um, I, this is the first time that I've ever had it beep at me twice. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna unload it. Just gonna make sure that it's secure on the mat. I'm gonna reload my mat. And then I'm gonna start over. I'm gonna reposition the housing, set this up here. One more, and then I'm gonna try one more time. And third time's a charm. This time, I, you know, I just, I don't know what it was, but when that machine beeps at you, that tells you something's wrong. And you can usually find out what it is if you watch this camera. It'll start beeping at you. And the, both times it beeped at me, that little red crosshairs was not in the corner. It was picking it up on one of the lines. So now it's gonna use the cut settings and it's going to Start down here after the blade touchdown. 
Oh, look, my mat's not sticky. That is another important factor in your print and cut. As you can see, this is not sticking down on my cutting mat. My cutting mat has been well used the last couple of days. So this one, it's already started cutting. I can, um, it's not gonna work. I can just say it right now, as it is, it's not gonna work. I am still gonna post this video um, just because things like this happen. This is my own fault, the DTV. The backing here, see, look at this. <laughs> so the DTV is a little bit more slick than the sticker paper I was using, and it's not sticking to my light tack mat. So what happened here, once it started to move, it did not cut on the line, but uh, it didn't even cut correctly here on the E. So, you know, I could probably, I can test this. Um, I'm not going to do it on camera, but if it works, I'll put the video or the post at the end. Um, this is going to happen. I'm still going to post this video because the information on how to get the print and cut to work is in there. And you are going to encounter issues when you print and cut on your projects. So check out the description below for more information on print and cut and Caesar Juliet as well as the other videos on the Swift Creek Customs YouTube channel as well. Let's all continue learning this together. Thank you for joining me and have a great day.